talk about herbs first. And what to do when you find those amazing herbs during your herb season and how to keep them tasting fresh and delicious. First thing I want to show you is what to do with sage. Sage is one of the hardest herbs to find, at least where I live. So every time I find some, I do two things. I wrap in paper towel and keep them in the refrigerator as dry as possible. This will help them last for a week. Any of the herbs. Then with the rest of all of this sage that I have left over, generally, I can do two things. I can keep for about three weeks some of it placed in a Ziploc bag or I can place it in a regular container. If I place it, if I vacuum pack it, I just vacuum pack it like this, put it in the refrigerator and it's ready for me to use at any time. If I put it in olive oil, in a little container, it's gonna last about a month or so. And the olive oil is gonna have this amazing, amazing flavor. So this is what you do with sage. What about thyme? Thyme is one of my favorite, very, very, very favorite herbs. And basically what you use with the thyme are the little tiny herbs. And little tiny leaves that are left and you don't use the spray. Sometimes you can put the whole sprig because after cooking it's easier to take it out. But normally what we use is the leaves. And there are several things you can do with thyme. Thyme, you can freeze it as is. It's going to become brown, but it's no problem. The leaves are going to be perfect. You can have some of this in your fridge and it's, nothing's going to happen to it if you wrap it in paper also like this. They might just dry out. And then if they dry out, all you have to do is like, Pass them through your hands and the leaves are going to fall fantastically, super easy to use. So you can freeze it, refrigerate it, and you can freeze the majority of it, keep some refrigerated, and even put some on top of the oven or on top of your hottest part of the kitchen and it's going to dry and then you keep it, you seal it in a container as the dry herb. So there's tons and tons of things to do with time. With rosemary, you can also freeze the whole rosemary sprigs and then they are going to be perfectly fragrant. They are strong. Nothing's going to happen to them. Rosemary, like thyme, what you use are the leaves and then the stock is left over and you don't use it. So you take the top leaves and you discard the little part of the plant but you use the leaves. And you can put these leaves in olive oil too and keep them in the fridge for about also a month. You can keep whole sprigs like this in the freezer. And then if you keep them in paper towels, they'll, prob they'll probably stay good for about a week or two in the refrigerator. But I like to always keep them in different parts because I use fresh ones during the week. And then if I have some frozen, I can use them in two or three months when there's no more rosemary in hand, and the ones that I want to use during the rest of the month, I have in the fridge with olive oil. Now the basil. Basil is really, really hard to keep. So what we're going to do with the basil is basically use what you need during the week, but always keep it in dry paper towels within the fridge. And then the leftover leaves, we are going to put them in a processor, process them with oil, and make just a kind of pesto, which is not really a pesto, it's just a basil, uh, a ground basil mixture that I use to season many, many things. So I add olive oil to it, I add some peppercorns to it, and then I just have, we call it pesto at home a lot, but that's what we use maybe to season uh, fresh shrimp that we cook and then once they're out of the uh, out of the pan or out of the grill we just add a little bit of this oil and it's delicious. Culantro is like cilantro and it's our Latin American uh, twin or 
cousin of the cilantro. It is also, even though it looks sturdy, it's a very delicate leaf and it's sometimes called razor leaf, but also it doesn't keep too much. So what I do is the same thing I do with extra cilantro or with extra basil. I process them with peppercorns and olive oil, a tiny bit of salt, and I keep them in small containers like this one that I just finished using uh, my garlic. Smells delicious still. And I keep the little bits of those in the refrigerator with the pepper and a tiny bit of salt so that they keep and I add them fresh and cold to sauces and meats that are already prepared. Usually I don't use them to cook with simply because they lose more flavor as I would with the fresh ones. And I like to keep those little tiny bits of the different herbs in oil just to add like a pinch of delicate flavor on top of certain things. processor several times without having to go through washing it and cleaning it because if it's wet it's not going to grind my herbs very nice so I'm going to add my basil into a container and now I'm going to add cover it with olive oil and refrigerate here comes the long throw with a razor leaf. Same thing. Back in the processor. But a half of the peppercorn pod. A couple of pieces of this salt. Sea salt. We are going to close it. Process. leaves that stay we have to just kind of like open it or turn it and that's it you see it takes seconds only to do all this and you process all of these delicious herbs in seconds and at the end you can do some garlic I already have some but you can do some garlic and then you basically have to use your processor like once, I don't know, maybe every two or three weeks and you'll have great seasonings in your fridge with the olive oil, pepper, a pinch of salt and I use them about once a week, I, I make them about once a week but that's because I use them for all the recipes. But if you don't have to use that much, what you can do is basically um, just buy one herb a week, use that one, and then the next week use the other one so that you don't have to process that many of them at the same time. Now, I'm going to freeze my rosemary and my thyme, and I'm going to show you how to do the, all the peppercorn mix. It's, this is all going to be peppercorns, green peppercorns that I like to keep also in the olive oil and that way I can use this instead of ground pepper during the season that I have fresh green peppercorns and it is so exciting to find them in the supermarket I mean it's incredible I love using them fresh and when I have too many, what I do is this. And then I have 
beautiful, beautiful peppercorns. This is gonna turn black after a couple of weeks, but it doesn't matter. It's perfect. The aroma is delicious. And if I had a couple of garlic cloves, I would add them here simply because I have some peppercorns that I don't. So all I'm gonna add is a little bit of salt and the olive oil. And this way I'm gonna have a whole thing of peppercorns that I bought, processed. And like you see, it takes no time. This is only seconds to be a whole so good that the rest of the year you're gonna wait anxiously until you get fresh green peppers. So here we go. Let's process them with a little bit of the salt. Now we're gonna add some more salt here because basically this is gonna last a long time and we want it to keep very well. And now we're gonna process. it smells and how beautiful it looks it's amazing the difference the color and it smells <coughs> exactly like pepper we're gonna place this in another container add some olive oil and it's gonna keep like this delicious for months too dark, don't you worry, because the peppercorns tend to start looking black. That's why we get black pepper. But keep it like this, covered in oil, and you have some amazing herbs that can be used later in time. Some like these can be frozen or dried, and others need to be processed so that they are absolutely beautiful, aromatic, and perfect any time of the day and the week.